Hey, what's up, everybody? Shannon Sagan here, 1-800-FLA-LAWYER. Hope you're doing well. Yes, today's topic is about lying and liars. And no, it's not about my two clients that I want to give you examples of. It's about the people who hit my clients. So first scenario, uh, I have a client who is driving in a parking lot, trying to find a parking spot. And lo and behold, uh, she gets... Uh, hit on the back right side of her car by somebody backing out of a parking spot and not paying attention. So she gets a police report. Um, everything seems fine. The lady who hit her admitted to her that she wasn't paying attention. Uh, that wasn't noted on the report, interestingly enough. But she goes home thinking everything's fine and this person's going to take responsibility. And lo and behold, when I open up a claim for her a week later, her insurance company says, no, this is a 50-50 deal. Your client um, was trying to beat her as our client was backing out and we're only accepting 50% responsibility. Sadly, my client did not have a witness to uh, corroborate her version. And even more importantly, she did not have a dash cam, which uh, is one, of, I think my second most popular video that I tell everybody, if you get a dash cam, it's going to basically um, tell the true story every single time. So because of that, we're facing an uphill battle of 50% responsibility being taken on the other side instead of what should have been 100%. And I'm seeing this more and more. People are liars. They leave the scene. Someone gets in their ear, whether it's the insurance company, whether it's another attorney, whether it's a friend, and they start rethinking uh, what they should be telling their insurance company because they don't want their premium to go up. Second scenario, client is actually, uh, he T-bones somebody when he has a green light and the other person's running a red light. And little did the other person know that my client was smart enough to have a dash cam in his car at the time. So when his insurance company did this spiel of, well, we're not at fault, you guys ran the red light, we had a green light. We show them the video and it was clear that they had a liar for a customer. And right away, they came back and accepted full responsibility. Now, this happens very rarely. And I wish I saw it a lot more where my clients had dash cams. Um, it would really make a lot of cases a little bit easier. There would be less fighting liars uh, and insurance companies. And insurance companies... To their defense, they have to go by, for the most part, what their insured tells them. And most of the time, they get them to take a sworn statement. So they kind of have to take their side for the most part. But in this scenario, this worked out perfectly. We caught a liar. I can't stand liars. And we caught one. And we were able to get them to accept 100% responsibility. So couple things you need to do. Go buy a dash cam. You can get one for probably under a hundred bucks. You plug it right into your cigarette lighter. It's probably uh, 10 minutes to hook the whole thing up and it automatically records. Number two, if you don't have a dash cam and you're not going to get one, you're not going to listen to my thousand videos on this, then if you have a witness, got to make sure the witness and yourself let the officer know what happened. Two versus one is a lot better. Uh, take photos. Photos sometimes help. But again, if you get in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation like the first client I was talking to you about, it's really not going to matter because it's uh, he said versus she said. So the moral of the story is the best way to cover yourself from a liar, go get a dash cam, throw it in your car right now, buy some for your friends and your family. And I'm telling you, it's uh, wild, wild west here in Florida. I, that's my line. I say all the time, if God forbid you or your family member are in one of these accidents and liability is being disputed, this is a perfect way to shut that down and show them they're liars. Hope this video helps. Please like my page and subscribe to my YouTube and all my um, social media channels. Put in uh, anything in the comments, constructive criticism, good, bads. Let me hear it all. Take care.